Hey everyone, it's Brennan with BC Labs. I wanted to come at you with a quick update about MetaQuest 3's newest update. Some of you may know that we just moved from V63 to V64 in the PTC public test channel for the MetaQuest 3. And I actually just got my download for V64. And there's been a lot of buzz about pass-through and the differences. So really quickly, I just wanted to address that. I must say, right after I got the update and I rebooted my headset, I did see a marked improvement. But again, it's more about the clarity from further away. So I wonder if they tuned some of the settings to adjust kind of the, the, the sharpness at a further distance. Because there's a lot of filtering going on in the pass-through. Also, I don't know if anybody else ran into this, but if you're on the public test channel with V64, you may have issues starting to do a recording. I actually rebooted and you know closed a couple apps and then reopened them and could not record. And I thought I wasn't actually going to be able to record a snippet for this video, but it just started working. So that's just a word of warning. If you get on V64 and you don't immediately have the ability to record, it may take a few minutes and it seems to fix itself. I tried to keep the lighting exactly the same in my recording as it was about a 15, 10 to 15 minute span between the phone recordings. It was a bit longer between the, the Quest pass-through recordings on the headset due to the issue I was having. I think pass-through does look slightly dimmer post-update, at least on the recordings. However, when I was wearing the headset, I did not notice this. The graininess also seemed to be improved in headset, although it's not as obvious from the recordings. I do think that you can tell somewhat from the video that the legibility of text is better from further away. I don't think overall clarity improved. I just think that it's clearer from a better distance so you can read things without being really close to them. This especially helps with your phone or you know, trying to read something on the wall, which otherwise you'd have to kind of push it really close to the headset to get a, a clear view. I don't know if they modified like the software focus range or what, but it does seem to be a difference. It is possible that it's some sort of placebo, but I personally did a comparison, you know, fresh eyes on it, and I did notice an improvement, and I don't think it's outside of Meta's capability to make a change like this, since it does seem slightly filtered, and it always has been. That's why I went all around the room testing different angles within the same lighting, and tried to keep the angles consistent between the first and second recordings, and I didn't notice any appreciable environmental differences that would uh, cause the improvements I saw. There's even moments where you can kind of look at where I have my oscilloscope and it just seems clearer and crisper, and I could actually read the text on top of my power supply, which before I wasn't able to do. It was very fuzzy. I also tried to keep my lighting to be as consistent as possible, so I don't think it's a difference of lighting. I walked around the room. Well, that's just my thoughts. Hopefully Meta releases some information in the release notes that kind of explains this and if anything was changed. Anyway, I don't really have much more to cover on here. There are a bunch of other features in V64 that I'll probably address in a different video, but I thought this was just so important because any improvement to the pass-through just brings this closer in parity to some of the other options. And it's one of the major things that I think is holding the Quest 3 back from being truly usable uh, in a day in and day out you know, use case for productivity. So it's really exciting. It also helps with immersion for mixed reality games. So I'm just so excited. Anyway, if you guys thought this was interesting or have any questions, drop them in the comments. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.